How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. You know guys on this channel that we like to do things ourselves. We like to build things ourselves, but inevitably sometimes it is just easier and more convenient to buy what you need. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some very affordable Husky storage cabinets. All right, guys, what we're looking at here are the ready to assemble Husky storage cabinets that you can find at Home Depot and on Amazon. What you'll find when you start looking at these is that Husky has three different tiers of storage cabinets that you can get. What I have here, the ready to assemble ones, is the lower tier cabinets that Husky offers. These are a 24 gauge steel, so it is very thin. It's not super heavy duty or anything like that, but it is gonna get the job done for what I need. I'm just gonna be storing some cleaning supplies and paint cans and things like that in here so it's going to do just fine for what I need. The other two tiers that you'll see are the regular duty welded cabinets and the heavy duty welded cabinets. The heavy duty ones are going to be a 20 gauge steel and they are welded. They've become pre-assembled and they're a lot more heavy duty. They're also going to be a lot more expensive because of that. Overall, I am happy with the one I got. Would I make the same choice again or would I go with the heavier duty one? We're going to talk a little bit about that and some things I like and don't like in just a minute. We're also going to show you how to assemble this cabinet. But first guys, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. Now, before I show you the assembly, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you some of the features. We have a gloss black finish here with a silver handle. You have two main doors here. On the insides of these doors here, you will see that it has some pegboard holes so you can hang any type of pegboard accessories on there. You can see I have a couple baskets here and I have some hooks that I haven't really taken advantage of yet, but that is a nice feature to have that pegboard there. The shelves again are not super heavy duty. Each one can hold 150 pounds, which for my purposes is going to be fine. The doors do have some magnetic closures that work just okay. I found that they weren't quite strong enough. So I did add some additional magnets here that really allow that to close very nicely and stay closed. This cabinet is also going to be lockable. So it comes with a set of two keys as a standard locking mechanism. The way that locking mechanism works is it has a pin on the top and bottom that when you turn the key, those pins go up and down into the frame to prevent you from opening the cabinet. So that is nice feature there. The cabinet does come with some pretty nice adjustable feet, but Husky also sells a wheel kit that I did end up putting on here. And I will link to the cabinet, the wheel kit, as well as some of the higher quality cabinets in the description below if you wanna get them for yourself. So let's jump back. I'll show you how to assemble this, talk about a few things I liked and didn't like, and then we'll wrap it up. Now we're gonna go ahead and get this box open and start getting the parts out. And right about here is where I started getting concerned. I started seeing uh, scratches and dents and stuff all in this. And honestly, I'm not very surprised. This is a super thin metal, so dents uh, in shipping are to be expected. And after a closer look, these scratches that you see are not actually in the paint. They're in the plastic that's completely covering each part of this cabinet. Once that plastic was removed, there were no visible scratches. but there were still the dents to deal with. So once I got everything out, I got my mallet and started banging out some of these dents. It really wasn't that difficult. And once I finished and got this together, it was not really noticeable to anybody but me. The instructions were pretty straightforward and the assembly was very easy. Once I had the frame and the back together, we're gonna to go ahead and stand it up and then start putting in our shelves. 
And like I mentioned before, every individual piece of this cabinet is completely covered in a thin plastic, which is great because it's protecting the paint and the finish of the cabinet. But this stuff is really shrink wrapped on and it honestly took longer to get the plastic off of each piece than it did to assemble the entire cabinet. Putting the doors on was fairly simple. It was just a matter of dropping the hinge pin into place. I did have a piece in the lower part of the frame that was still bent. So I had to get my mallet back out and bang away at that a little bit. But after some minor adjustments, the doors opened and closed just fine. All right guys, so once I actually got this thing together and got all the protective plastic off, it actually looks really good. The doors function well. But one huge problem is Husky only gives you two shelves. Now, of course, you can buy more shelves for an additional cost. And so I did end up doing that because it's basically useless to me with only two shelves. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get those in. You'll notice I did also get Husky's wheel kit for this cabinet. So our cabinet will be mobile and I can move it around if I need to. So let's get these shelves in, get it into place, and then we'll talk a little more about it. And now we're back to peeling off more of that plastic. Honestly, guys, I'm glad this was on there, but man, it was a pain in the butt. Now we're just gonna roll it back into place and go ahead and test the locking mechanism. This is obviously not going to be Fort Knox, but it does lock and unlock like it's supposed to. All right, guys, so would I choose the same cabinet again? The answer is probably not. Now, I do like it. It is going to work for what I need, and I'm not going to be returning it or anything like that. It's going to work out just fine. I do like it. I think it looks great in the shop, but honestly, after having to buy additional shelves, and the wheel kit and having to do a little extra work banging out dents and stuff like that i probably would have just gone ahead and stepped up to the next level either the regular duty welded or the heavy duty welded cabinet that would be a little bit more heavy duty and comes pre-assembled but the reason i got this one is because it was a little less expensive and even after adding the additional shelves and the wheel kit, I still ended up significantly cheaper than the heavy duty cabinet. So it really just depends on what your budget is and what you're gonna be using the cabinet for. So would I recommend this one? Yeah, I think I would, um, especially if you have a lower budget and you don't need the heavy duty, I definitely would go with this. If you need something more heavy duty, I feel confident that Husky's heavier duty line would do you just fine. And again, guys, I'm going to link to everything in the description below. It really helps us out if you want to use our links to purchase that kind of stuff. If you have any questions or anything, make sure you let us know in the comment section below. And if some of you guys are just mad at me for not building my own cabinet, I'm sorry. I can't build everything. Um, this is going to work out great in my shop. It looks cool. And uh, yeah, I'm good with it. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.